Hey guys, and welcome back. Join me on this emotional roller coaster as we unravel the shocking truth behind Wendy Williams 2024 Network. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because this story is one you won't want to miss. Well, it seems like somebody has been looking into Wendy Williams' uh, account. And, you know, like I've always said, where is the money? Wendy had all this money. Where is it now? Well, new alleged details have surfaced surrounding Wendy Williams' bank account. Now, previously reported in 2022, Wells Fargo froze Wendy Williams' account over concerns she was being subjected to financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence. Now, despite her fight against these allegations, a judge ultimately ruled that the former talk show host would be placed under guardianship. Now, her team recently revealed she was officially diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontal temporal dementia sometime in 2023. Now, in a new share report from Radar Online, a source close to the matter claimed that at the time her various Wells Fargo accounts were frozen, Wendy allegedly had between 40 to $50 million stacked away. Now, depending on who you ask about Wendy's net worth. Now, celebrity net worth claims that she only, her net worth is only $500,000. Mm -hmm. So now where did that go, guys? <clears throat> I, I, I'm not a mathematician, but come on now. How her, is her net worth was 40 to 50 million prior to this Wells Fargo freeze. Now, they froze her money but now an insider has said that now it's unclear how much money Wendy has in her accounts as her finances and her life are under con complete control of court evaluators, attorneys, and specialists who allegedly have their hands in the funds. Now, Wendy is paying all these people. Do you hear what I'm saying? Wendy is paying all these people to steal her money. <clears throat> if that don't make sense, I tell you. Now, this insider added, you now have five attorneys who Wendy did not select and who Wendy has nothing to do with that are all getting paid out of Wendy's finances. Now, I don't understand. Hmm. Now, as you know, Wendy Williams' loved ones have called out the people claiming to have the 59-year-olds. They don't have her best interests in mind several times. Now, most recently in February, they allege the court-appointed guardianship she's been placed under has kept her away from her loved ones. Now, Wendy's niece, Alex Feeney, reportedly stated at the time, We've all seen the images over the last few months and really few years of what has seemed like a spiral downward pattern of Wendy. Now, meanwhile, Lifetime Where Is Wendy Williams aired despite a legal challenge to block the program just days before it premiered. Now, Wendy legal guardian filed a lawsuit to block Lifetime her name is Sabrina Morrissey, petitioned the judge for a restraining order. However, that move was unsuccessful. Despite this, fans agreed after watching the show that it should not have been aired. Now, I'm a fan, but I don't think that. I think that it should have been aired because this gives the family ammunition to see that this legal guardian was not working in her best interest. Wendy was malnourished. She was frail. She was going 
to uh, California without nobody knowing. Her publicist just pulled this woman, took her to to California. Uh, even it was documented in the docu series. The producer asked Wendy's niece when she came to see Wendy, had she looked in the refrigerator, and he told her the there was nothing in the refrigerator. So I don't see why this legal guardian is still over Wendy after this aired. I mean, come on, guys. Now, despite this, fans were confused as to why a white attorney is Williams' guardian as opposed to a member of Williams' family. Wendy has a son, a brother, a father, a sister that is even an attorney. How is this happening? Why can't one of them be her guardian? Who's advising the son? He's her next of kin. There has to be some rights he has. I agree. And I don't care if she's white, polka dotted, purple, green. I, 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 I don't think they should have pulled the family from over a uh, uh, Wendy. I mean, come on. Why? I mean, it's clear to see. After you see this documentary, you understand what Kevin Jr. was saying. When he had Wendy, there was no her going to sleep in the, the department store because she's drunk. There was no Wendy hopping a cab in the middle of the night going to the liquor store and smoke shop. All these images we saw of Wendy took place while under this legal guardianship and the freeze of of, of Wendy's money. Mm-hmm. But they frowned over Kevin. Kevin said he couldn't cook. Wendy couldn't cook. So they got a lot of grub hub, and I think it, it totaled up to... I don't know the exact amount, but that's what it took for a court order appointed judge to take her from her family and put her in this legal guardianship with strangers and attorneys that Wendy's money is paying for. And this legal guardian is being paid, I'm sure. I'm sure she's not doing this for free. So, I mean, is it correct to say that Wendy's account is not frozen if they're taking her money? Come on, guys. Mm -mm. This is bullshit. Yeah, yeah, then it came from me. This is bullshit. What y'all think? All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, important, be blessed, y'all.